Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so happy to show you my January 2024 bullet journal setup. This month was very interesting and it took me a while to actually come up with a theme, but the idea I have for it is... I like it. Uh, generally, I decided to try to stick to theme during the whole year of 2024 Hopefully this will work out, but we'll see. Every single month of 2024, we are going to be traveling to a different timeline, to a different culture and exploring different patterns and designs. make all the decorations for this month but a little bit more challenging part was definitely the making of this map i had to have the map open right next to me so i can outline it a little bit more precise than i could just freehand it but i am so pleased with the result it looks absolutely gorgeous and it just adds a little bit of quality of life update to this spread and after I finished the map, the spread of the pattern looked a little bit too plain, so I just decided to add a little bit of this blue color to the outline to make it stand out a bit more. In general, to me, Greece and Greek culture usually is associated with the color of blue, so for this month's spread I decided to try to use only different shades of blue and occasional black for the writing of different text but not other color just blue and on top of the map i decided to do a little kind of encyclopedia spread uh, with the name of the pattern written in greek with a little bit of translation transcription under and then just a simple definition what this pattern means Moving on to the second spread of this month, we obviously have my calendar. This is a very basic spread for the calendar, it's just one box for each day of the month. I decided not to use the ruler this time because freehand look uh, seemed a little bit more appropriate to me this way. And I really enjoyed all the text, all the fonts I managed to do for this month. They look very geometric, but somehow they still remind you of Greece and it looks very cool. And for the decorational piece for this spread, I decided to draw a little bit of Greek vases. Usually when you think of Greek vases, you think of Ampharos, but for example, 
I didn't know that they have so many different names for all the different types of vases. Like on this spread, only the small one on the very left, right under Thursday, is called Ampharos. All the rest have different names. And right after I finished the filling in of the text, a little bit of a darker drop shadow, and then all the days of the months. And I felt like the vases themselves look a little bit too plain, so I just added the same kind of patterns on all of them with a little bit of outlining and uh, a little bit addition of blue color. And with the last patterns being done, this spread is finished. It was very simple, very easy, definitely recommend trying it out. Moving on to the next pattern, we have another necessary spreads, which are my habit tracker on the left page and my sleep and mood tracker on the right page of the spread. Usually I would do only the mood tracker, but for me it is a little bit difficult to stick to it and actually fill in every single day of the month. So I decided to combine it with the sleep tracker this time, so it looks a little bit more filled in by the end. This spread layout is very simple. On the left side there is going to be the mood tracker itself with not so good medium and good kind of mood dot uh, according to each day of the month and uh, right of it there is going to be lines for how much I slept uh, during this day, how many hours and during what hours exactly I slept. Obviously a little bit of obligatory drop shadows at this point, it just makes the letters stand out a little bit more and it adds so much character to the spread. As for the habit trackers, I also went with a very standard kind of layout. It is just simple box for each kind of habit I want to track, with a little bit of a headline in the blue marker and then just the simple boxes uh, representing each day of the month. And then for the day completed, I will just put a little dot. I tried to do a little bit of more of drop shadow here. I'm not so sure I love how it looks, but it just adds a little bit more color to the spread. As for the design, I went again with another type of meander pattern, which is just a very simple geometric pattern this time. It's incredibly easy to draw. It looks a little bit prettier if you use the ruler, but even without a ruler, just following the dots of your journal, you can still make it very easily. I definitely recommend if you want to add a little bit of geometrical pattern. And moving on, we obviously have the very last spread of this setup. I decided not to show me setting up every single weekly spread for this time. Maybe I will post it a little bit later, but we'll see. The spread is also incredibly simple. It is just a simple box in the middle of the page with the columns for each day of the week, except for Sunday. I decided to leave Sunday out of my journal setup because I don't want to have any plans on Sunday. I want Sunday to be my day off, so to say. And for in the each box on top, there's going to be the name of the day of the week. Under that, I have just enough time to write down the hour in the day. So I want to put a task for the specific hour, for example, that I can track what time of the day I'm busy, what time of the day I'm free. And under that I had a little bit of empty space, so I decided to leave it a square box and maybe I will do a little doodle a day, maybe a quote, maybe something else I want to remember this day with. And the pattern again just very simple decorational meander. I went with different types of patterns for each of the spreads and it adds so much character, it adds so much more interesting detailing to each of the spreads. 
For this uh, setup I went with my very simple IKEA markers. They are super cheap but they work pretty well. I was very happy with it. They do not bleed through this journal. They dry pretty quickly, they don't smudge and the bigger set comes with so many different shades of blue so it was very easy to find color scheme I wanted to use. And the most tedious part of this whole setup was writing down all of the hours on this spread, but it just adds a little bit of simplicity to my setup. And just like that, we are ready for the final flip through. I am so glad with how these spreads look. The first spread is probably my very favorite because of this little bit of craft paper. I probably want to use a bit more craft paper later just to add more color but it looks so pretty. Thank you so very much for watching this video and I will see you very soon in the next one.